They don't play with each other. Beat volleyball in here. Beat volleyball. Let them play with each other in beach volleyball. Yeah. Whoa, 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 in recent years, you saw a crash in 2000 gang companies and gang companies and gang companies. You got a mega man who has officially retired and yet his fans are still pissed. Mega man is in the Bahamas with a Caribbean chick on his dick drinking something, drinking something out of a coconut. Wondering why the hell is his fans so fucking pissed? I hung up my blast to leave the fuck alone. <laughs> you got Spyro the Dragon, who is pretty much the neglected child actor. <laughs> if you don't believe me, the whole time during during the PlayStation era, when you had, you know, the ultimate Spyro the Dragon, and you, Spyro the Dragon, yes, Spyro the Dragon is awesome. When's the last time you heard Spyro the Dragon? Spiral's Adventures. They used him as a fucking poster child. Just to sell the game. And the sequel came out and his name was even mentioned. I'm pretty sure he's like, well, I, I, I'm, I'm still here, guys. I'm still, I'm still here. Sonic is a whore of his own company. Yeah, I know Sonic is a whore of his own company. Because Sonic, he does... You know, he does everything right. You know, he has his own platform game. Then you've got him doing racing games, driving a car, and doing cameos in other games. So the crew was like, hey guys, hey, say, hey, you have something new to me? Come on, Sonic, do you have anything to do? Come on, come on, you have anything? Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys, come on, guys, please, do you have anything? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, no. You want to know who's crazy and getting further of all this? Mario. Mario is a monster. Think about this. Every new Nintendo game comes that's come out, Mario is the poster child. Mario is the headline. He is the headline for any new game that comes out. It has to be a new Mario Platinum game, a new Mario Kart, a new Smash Bros. in the works. There has to be. So pretty much it's like this. What would happen if Mario wasn't the headline? Um, Mr. Mario, sir? Um, we, we got a word from Mr. Shigeru, um, about the new console, the Nintendo BD. Um, it seems that you're not going to have your new game coming out on the show. What do you mean, not my game is not going to be available on the stage? Well, sir, we talked to Mr. Shigeru and he said that there must be a new poster child and he has chosen Kirby. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here. The fuck do you mean that fat piece of crap is going to take my focus spot? No, I'm over here. Luigi, get the fuck off me. Get off me, Luigi. Get off. Get off me. I'm good. If you don't get the fuck off me, I'm going to give you a... I'm going to give everybody a fucking reason why they call you my Luigi. Don't fucking care. No, you get, get your ghetto in line right the fuck now. Get on the line. Get on the line right now. Peach years old, please, if you don't know how she comes in, makes Marty even more pissed. Peach, what the fuck do you want? What, what the fuck do you want? Hey, look, I don't give a fuck where you were at, okay? I thought you were in another castle, okay? I don't give a fuck, okay? You're probably in, I don't know, you're probably somewhere fucking Bowser, I don't care, okay? Newsflash, I was fucking
fucking bees while you were in the castle. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I don't care, okay? Go away. Just no, no, no. You know what? I don't care who the fuck this guy is. Take his ass to battle his castle. Dump him in the lava pit. He'll learn his fucking lesson on not to fuck with Mario. Mr. Mario, sir, you are needed out in the audience for Nintendo, my sir. Give me five fucking minutes! Guys touch some cosplayers, and it does mean I'm like, 
I mean, you want to do that here, there's a strip joint down the street. And I'm pretty sure you can go to Greensboro, go to the Players Club, and have a ball. I mean, they're comps players. They are doing, they are doing their job or enjoying their hobby. Leave them be. But like a lot of people don't get that gist. Something like this, ladies, whenever a dude does that to you, you have two options that you do. You can call the proper authority. You can call the police on them. And I'm pretty sure if it happens here, the police are right down the street. They will be up here quick, fast, and hurry. And option two, you have the right to kick them firmly square in the nuts. And then you have a prop, home run dirt. The best thing ever. Even better than that, Catch it on video, put it on YouTube, even better. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's seen any on the new Dragon Ball Z movie? Animated movie. Animated movie. The new Dragon Ball Z animated movie. I know for a fact when people hear, you know, new Dragon Ball movie. Oh, Lord, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. We still going through shit from the last one, man. It's an animated movie all over here. It looks pretty good. And um, I don't know, man. But, I don't know. I heard this news report one day. What up, what up, what up, what up? And it was about, you know, it was about different seventies, but it's not. I think I got it word for word. Let me see if I can get it. It's just news channel related. I am here, this is Chet Ubecha, oh, right. and I'm here to give you a news report. There's a serial murder on the news. This abomination, this evil concoction of mankind has savagely killed and mercilessly oh. made millions of people's oh. lives. He has simultaneously destroyed people's childhoods. This man's name, I dare speak it. Michael Bay. <laughs> Michael Bay has made something of an atrocious act by making the Transformers movies. He's taking the blocky, awesomely shaped retro cars and turning them into robotic abominations that should be doing anime porn to Skrillex. Fun fact, I like Skrillex. And I know a lot of people, for those that don't know what Skrillex is, um, it's Transformers, it's um, Transformers and Sex. For those that don't know what Skrillex is. Anyway, back to what I was doing. This evil man has made three of these abominations. Not only with these atrocious Transformers, but with a bullshit actor by the name of Shia LaBeouf. I mean, LaBeouf. How can you be so pissy with pussy on both sides? My God. And not only that, this man has done something even more atrocious. He made a movie about a board game. This man made the movie Battleship. And the worst thing about this movie, actually that's just not the worst thing. The worst thing about this movie is he Use, use Transformers pieces, recycle the sounds, and just added more explosions. And the worst thing about this movie is Rihanna. I would have preferred Michelle Rodriguez, but she was making Fast and Furious 6, and I'm okay with that. And this man is going on to do something even more atrocious, even more, even more gulf spirit. He's remaking the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a new, we have a new sport. I'm sorry, there's a typo. It's the Teenage Alien Ninja Turtles. Even worse than that, I have a question. Why is Megan Fox being casted as April O'Neil? For this man's done something that has 
made other people come in by making that bullshit Dragon Ball movie and the even more atrocious The Last Airbender. I'm bored. He's giving Goku and Aang cancer. God help us all. You know, I think 
the one thing I have to thank for me getting the anime and I'm pretty sure y'all agree with me was Toonami. But you didn't get into anime by Toonami, you know, you probably got into it before, or you probably got to it afterwards. But Toonami brought me into anime. It literally popped my anime chair. And there was nothing more awesome than coming home. And it was an action block. It wasn't it wasn't fully anime, because I mean I remember reboot. I remember, you know, I remember reboot, I remember Voltron, I remember all of those other shows before the anime, you know, actually started taking over. So you know, it was pretty awesome, you know. I remember coming home at five o'clock, I remember coming home at four o'clock, getting my homework done, going on to the TV and watching Beast Wars, Transformers, Voltron. Um, that it is true. <laughs> you know, you know, watching Sailor Moon, the male equivalent to Sailor Moon, which is Roman Warriors. You know, I remember that. It was awesome. It was really great. You know, when you start getting mellowed out, I'd say around 2004, 2005, when it started getting mellowed out and started be becoming lame. Yeah, the lame Tom. Oh, God. <laughs> that hurts my soul. <laughs> And then they finally brought it back on Adult Swim. And they brought it, and the funniest thing, they brought it back after an April Fool's trip. It was April 1st, which was the weekend that Toonami actually came on. <laughs> and like that whole night was like, hey, we're showing you this, we're showing you that, we're showing you, we're showing you Dragon Ball Z, we're showing you Gun League, we're showing you Trigun, we're showing you all of these things, but you only get for one night. And I think that, I think, I don't know if that pissed off a lot of people that love Toonami or inspired a lot of people that love Toonami, but I'm pretty sure it inspired. Because, um, if anybody, I'm, I'm pretty sure it inspired. I really am. Um, and I think this will help me into my next segment. Um, who here listens to rap? Excellent. Listen to Richie Branson. If you need any more insight, Download his mixtape, the Gundam Wing EP. Is all all he does is rap about Gundam Wing. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a cool it's a cool album. It, it really is. He actually made a song called Bring Tsunami Back. You probably if you watch Tsunami nowadays from the beginning, you probably heard a little rap intro. You know, a little bit at the beginning when Tsunami started coming back on. Tsunami's Bad Bitches are Richie Branson. I'm trying to get a lot of people into more nerdcore rap. Because, I mean, if you, try, if you start listening to rap nowadays, it's pretty bland, pretty stupid, pretty full of bullshit. And I should know because I listen to that shit. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than listening to Trinidad James all day, every day. Just, that's, that's my hype music. I don't know why. But, like, this whole time at this convention, like, if I would listen to music, I'd just listen to Richie Branson. It's Richie Branson, you know, a lot of nerdcore rappers, they really, it's really good, you know. There's nothing more fun than listening to someone that sounds like Eminem that's rapping about Gundam. That is the weirdest, yet most awesome combination you've ever had. You know. <laughs> I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> Going to that segment. Um, and being single and going to an anime convention, that's to be one of the, I don't know, it's probably halfway one of the best, halfway one of the worst. Because you're trying to get with a girl here at an anime convention, I was just single, not looking, married, engaged, have a boyfriend, have a girlfriend. Point blank period. And you don't know who does. It's crazy. Like I see a lot of girls like, wow, she looks good. Wow, she looks good. Wow, she looks good. Take it, take it, dyke. Like, wow, she looks good. Wow, she looks good. Wow, she looks good. Has a boyfriend too young for you, dyke. Uh, it's the worst thing on the planet, man. Like you see a lot of, cause I'm really into nerdy girls. I love nerdy girls. Like if you. If you have my, I'm personality over physicality. That's how I am. 
If you like anime, manga, video games, if you like any of that stuff, your trash.